the average male and female student sculptures were created for a special exhibition at the World's Columbian Exhibition in Chicago in 1893. They were a collaboration with anthropologists at Harvard, with uh, Dudley Allen Sargent, who was director of physical education at the college, and with a pair of sculptors, artists, um, who were commissioned to use measurements that Sargent had taken from his students and also had collected via colleagues from students all over the United States. And the idea was to create a kind of model of, he said, the typical male and female student of this era. He really wanted to perfect the human body. He wanted to convince people that they could have a better body through willpower and exercise. Sargent collaborated with anthropologists was a context of trying to understand the world in racial categories. And it's probably significant that these statues were of idealized white male, white female. College students who were in their prime, supposedly, and educated. So it's very easy to see how these could be used as a kind of ideal specimen of humanity. And in the World's Columbian Exhibition, they sat in an anthropology exhibit that also included exhibits from people in other parts of the world who would have looked very different. The statues came back to Harvard and they were exhibited at the Hemingway Gymnasium, where Sargent had been a longtime director. So maybe we could think a little bit about what it means to be typical. What does it mean to take an average? These differences can be arranged on a continuum from best to worst most or least civilized, or they can be celebrated as a model of human diversity. And I think those are issues that remain significant in some respects today, but there were of incredible significance in the 19th century as Europeans and Americans were moving out in capitalist and imperial expansion and colonial enterprises in different parts of the world. And this is absolutely central to the understanding of anthropology because part of the work of anthropologists was to collect, discover, explore others, people that aren't like themselves. And it was very easy, I think, to fall into ca popular categories or for popular culture to take anthropological information and turn it into racist ideologies.